Indiana University Board of Trustees has just approved a $45 million for a new arts and science building at IU Northwest to be shared with Ivy Tech. The project is also a centerpiece of Gary's redevelopment plans. To talk about it, we have IU Northwest Chancellor William Lowe. Chancellor, welcome. Thank you for having me today. So, <laughs> IU, they're expanding a $45 million building here. We've, uh, Purdue, they're talking about consolidating campuses. What, what's your secret over there at IU? Well, we lost the original building at IU Northwest, Tamarack Hall, in the flood of 2008. And there's been a uh, request uh, over those years to replace the building. Uh, Ivy Tech also had a request for a building to uh, take care of some of, of its enrollment increase over the years. And uh, in order to uh, demonstrate both efficiencies but also some of the potential for working together, uh, a joint proposal was agreed between IU and, uh, and Ivy Tech, uh, which last year was eventually successful. And uh, it uh, not attracted not only the trustees of both, uh, of both institutions, but the Commission for Higher Education, uh, the legislature and the governor all supported the idea, but particularly with a very strong support locally, I mean, our mayor, uh, Karen Freeman Wilson, was a, a very active supporter, but also the legislative delegation here in Northwest Indiana was solidly behind it, and, uh, and we were able to put forward a persuasive and successful proposal. This new building, though, is going to be like a, a, almost a block long, yes. over 330,000 square feet. Right. I think that's a little bigger than Tamarack Hall is, so this really does point right. to a pretty major expansion of the campus. Oh, indeed. Uh, the new building will be uh, more than twice as large as Tamarack Hall uh, was when it, when it was finally uh, torn down. So it'll be a major uh, addition not only to our campus and to the Ivy Tech uh, campus and capacity here in Gary, uh, but also we, we look forward to it being a signature presence on Broadway in Gary. And so you really see yourself as part of the redevelopment plans for the city of Gary. I noticed in there you've got a, a theater. A lot of universities are cutting back on liberal arts. You're doubling down on, on liberal arts with a big uh, theater and a theater program. Why that decision? Uh, well, Indiana University uh, at all of its campuses is very closely associated with a very strong preparation for all students in the arts and sciences. And uh, IU Northwest lost a marvelous theater when Tamarack was, uh, was destroyed in the flood. And so while we've been able to improvise over the last few years over at Arts on Grant and uh, in our auditorium, uh, we haven't had a proper theater uh, or large auditorium for performances uh, or to uh, prepare theater students. Uh, and so that was a pretty important part of uh, restoring uh, something that uh, we had for our own academic program, but also had become a pretty important feature in the community at having a, a fully professional theater available. All right, so you want to have that theater available. Um, where do you see IU's role in the community? I mean, do you, how, how important is it that you rede help redevelop Gary? Well, we are very much part of, of the Northwest Indiana and Gary communities. And IU ha has a very strong commitment uh, to Northwest Indiana and to Gary, a commitment that has been reaffirmed recently by our president, uh, Michael McRobbie, uh, that we are, we are part of, of, of the scene in, in Gary and should do everything possible to support, for example, Mayor Freeman Wilson's uh, initiatives and, and the Gary Public Schools uh, whenever we can. And, uh, so uh, community-based engagement is a strategic priority for I IU Northwest. Uh, this is one of the ways in which we demonstrate that. Uh, the building, of course, is important for academic capacity. Our enrollments have grown, as have Ivy Techs. Uh, we need it to serve the students well in a, uh, a really, I think, first-rate learning environment. Uh, and you get all of that with $45 million new building. Mm -hmm. Well, unfortunately, that's where we're going to have to leave it for right now. Chancellor William Lowe, thank you so much for being on. Okay. Thank you.